Import.io is a program that helps us to scrape data off of websites and put them into a database. In this case, we want to create a new crawler for a South African website that details where all health clinics are across the country. So I've selected a new crawler, and the first thing that I want to do is navigate to that website to an example of one of the clinic pages. You see it has the title, the services, its address, and even a map of where it's located. So we've navigated to the data. I'm there. The next thing we need to do is detect optimal settings. In this case, it will effectively turn off JavaScript. So you can see that this disables the map. That's OK, because we're not pulling information from the map in this case. So we can click Yes. Now, in this case, this is a single clinic page. So it's effectively a single row in our database that we're collecting from. If it was a search results page, for example, there would be multiple that we would be collecting from. But we only need a single product page. But now we have to show Import.io what information to actually collect. So within our row, we need to start adding columns. The first column that I'm going to want is called clinic name. And you see this is a text type. There are various types of information you may be collecting, but in this case, it's text. So we're selecting that. And then we need to train what information we want it to collect. So we simply highlight the clinic name, the title, and click the train button. You'll notice that over here, Aberdeen Hospital, the clinic name is now appearing. Let's say we want to collect more information. Let's add another column. Let's call this latitude. Now in this case, we're actually collecting something that is a number, so we'll call it that. Uh, in this case, it might obviously say we want to select all of latitude, but actually we don't need the word latitude in there. We can just highlight the number. That's all that we want. Perfect. And hit train. And you'll see that in the latitude column, we have the number that has come up. Uh, and I suppose we can do the same for longitude, number, done. Uh, we need to train this one. So again, we want to select just there on longitude, train, it appears. Now let's take a quick look at services because that's a little bit different. Uh, the services offered, um, we create a new one. Uh, again, we don't want just that. We actually want to, we can start by selecting that particular one, but then we actually also want that included in the row. So we're going to there we go. And now it knows that it wants everything there in that column. So we will do the same for the phone number, for the physical address, but I just wanted to show you an example and we can say, I've got what I need. Now it suggests that you have at least five different pages just to make sure that the data is consistent. So let's add another page. Um, we'll navigate to a different clinic. Um, I'm just navigating here, finding Aberdeen Mobile One. And we can select, I'm there. All right, now it's going to take a look at this web page. And it's going to say, all right, do I have everything right? The clinic name is Aberdeen Mobile One, latitude, longitude, services. Perfect, I've got what I need. And we'll continue adding at least five pages. we've added up to five pages and now we've got the button that says I'm done training. Then we upload to Import.io. We need to give this a name. I'm going to call it ZA Clinics for South Africa Clinics and hit OK. It's now uploading this information onto the Import.io website. Perfect. Uh, then all we need to do is start extracting some data. So we hit Run Crawler, and as it go, as we select Go, uh, it's going to start crawling and finding the different information. And it will start displaying up to about uh, 10 different ones. Um, in this case, when I ran the entire thing, it took upwards of three hours to actually get everything going. So it will take a lot of time. I'm going to leave it at that, and the next thing that we do is actually work with a complete database.